What's going on guys? My name is Tim Russwick and today I'm talking about discipline because discipline is probably the thing in my life that has been single-handedly responsible for um, the majority of what I have completed in life. Not to say, you know, I've gotten anywhere fantastic. Uh, I'm proud of the things that I've done. I'm, I'm happy with my life and um, didn't used to be that way. Didn't used to be that way at all. And just so you know, I am not a guy that had discipline growing up. Uh, in fact, I, the phrase I used to say all the time was, I don't have discipline. I'm not very disciplined. Uh, I used to make jokes with my friends like, you know, I'm not disciplined. Anything from like my weight to like my uh, ability to finish things or, you know, whatever. I would just make jokes about it like, ah. Eh. You know, maybe I'd make a better decision, like if I had self-control, or if I could actually discipline myself, uh, if I could wake up at a certain time. Um, and I like it was a legit joke. Like I was just, Haha, I don't have it, and like just I always assumed it was something I didn't have. And there was a long time where I just believed that I didn't have it. So I believed that everyone that had it uh, had some kind of superpower, like. How do they get up at 5 a.m. in the morning? How do they do something every single day? How do they work on a company for five years? I don't get it. I, I don't have the attention span for that. I want to jump from project to project. I never want to finish anything. The second I start something, something else looks shiny. Like, I'm jumping all over the place. Um, I, I alternate between obsessing about something to the point of utter chaos to uh, having no interest in it at all and wanting to jump something else. Like what what the hell do these people have that I don't have and um you know I I really I really didn't gain and I still don't think I actually have like the discipline that I want to have uh in life but I've gained a lot more of it than I ever thought was possible and to be honest a lot of it had to do with this YouTube channel to be completely honest and it, it I just want to kind of walk you guys through this because I got to show you how little of a baby steps each one of these little pieces is. Um, so Game Dev Underground started in 2013, and it started as a website to help game developers. Originally, the idea was that it would be uh, oh, back in the day, back way when it started, like I'm talking like 2009, 2010. My idea was to create a MySpace for people's games, right? Because MySpace was the fucking popular place back then. Um and uh, things happen, things change in life. Like I, I couldn't build the technology myself. I couldn't figure it out. And then stuff like IndieDB came along uh, and kind of took that spot. And then I didn't really need to do that anymore. So I started trying to kind of build a community. And um, I built a lot of different things. I, I set up blog, I set up a website, I did a bunch of stuff. And I noticed that it worked. Game Dev Underground, when I first launched it, was like a marketing tool and it was supposed to help game developers and i i launched it you know for for me it was pretty successful at the time i got a couple hundred people on a midnight launch that blew my mind because i didn't think that was possible um but then after like six months i stopped updating uh the website i stopped coming around and instantly like the community just died uh and so I was like, damn, okay, got to do this again. Um, I got another push to it uh, about like two or three years later, like let's say 2014, end of 2014. Uh, did another push, did a big update for everybody, updated all the technology and everything, did another push, started writing emails again. And again, it came back live. I started doing these Friday night uh, chats. Uh, there were Twitter chats where we would uh, all go into a, a Twitter hashtag and we would we would chat that way. Um, people had various reception to that. Some people loved it. Some people hated it. But again, as long as I would do these every Friday, people would join and then I would quit and then the whole thing would just disappear. It would just disappear completely. And, um, throughout this whole time, I was really struggling. Like, why can't I stick with this? What's going on? What the hell is happening to me? Uh, why can I do this for X amount of time and then not do it? And like, why do I stop? What's... What's stopping me? And um, after I sold my marketing company and, you know, I had like this 
quarter life crisis kind of thing. Uh, driving across country, you know, trying to find what I was passionate about again. And I finally stumbled on game development. I started making games again. I started working on Game of Underground again. And um, I started it up again. And this time I started a blog. Did that for three and a half months. And just, it, I wasn't getting the traction that I wanted. And I was just like, you know what? Let me try something else. Uh, I quit the blog. Started the YouTube channel. Um, but I started weekly. I started one video a week. Uh, and the, originally the videos were based off of blog posts that I had already written because I was like, okay, this content makes sense to make videos about. Um, so I started making those and they were getting, you know, okay, one of the videos did really well. The Facebook marketing one, um, that got me my first hundred subscribers in a day after going weeks without any subscribers, like z literally zero. Um, and then it just died off again nothing nobody nobody cares um but i kept putting effort in it week after week and um after 13 weeks because that was the original indie game marketing series it was 13 videos uh, and i did a video a week so after the first 13 weeks i was like okay you know what been doing this for 13 weeks i'm i have a little bit of discipline i've done this every single week for 13 weeks Maybe I'm finally starting to get in the hang of this. Maybe, um, maybe just maybe, I'm I'm getting the hang of this. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna test myself, and I'm gonna see if I can post a video every single day for 30 days. I don't think I can. It's fucking impossible. Uh, it's ridiculous. There's no way that I could ever do that. Ever do that? But I'm gonna try it, and uh, we'll see how it goes. And it was fucking hard, man every single day in fact i was so sure i was gonna miss it internally that i would film videos in like five video five six video batches because i was just so sure I, there's no way i could do it daily and um and in fact like the past 10 days i sat down for like two or three days and i just made the rest of the 30 videos because i was like this is not going to happen if i don't get it and i had them all scheduled out to upload uh once a day but and I did it. I did. I did 30 days. But in my mind, I kind of felt like I was cheating because I was like, hey, you say disciplined every day, but you didn't really do it every day. You did. You did it a whole bunch at one time and then you scheduled it. So you kind of cheated. Um, I still look at myself as a disciplined person. And uh, so I was like, all right, you know what? I did 30. Maybe I can do 90. And so I set out trying to do 90. And every single day I did a video uh, 90 days in a row and uh, at that point I was feeling good about myself I was like you know what it got a hell of a lot easier after that like it got a lot easier um, I think my my biases came down my fears kind of went away uh, I got better on camera um, I got better at talking like at, at first my voice was literally going out for like when I would film five videos at a time, they're like 10 minutes each, like 50 minutes, my voice would literally give out at the end of that. Like I wouldn't be able to talk anymore. Um, Cause I just <laughs> sit in my room and doing, working on stuff, you know, building video games. I, I, uh, I don't talk a lot. It's all in here. Um, but after 90 days, I was like, okay, you know what? This is starting to work. I'm starting to feel this. So, that's when I started the the Finish Friday stuff. I was like, you know what? I want to show people they can finish games. I'm really proud that I finished my first game after ten years of you know talking shit about it. And I was like, what if what if we can do this? And um, did that for eight weeks in a row. I finished a game every single week for eight weeks in a row while doing a video every single day. And you know what? I was like, damn, this this holy shit, like. Maybe discipline is a skill. Maybe this is something that I've been teaching myself. Baby steps. Like, holy shit. Like, maybe maybe this isn't something that you just grow up with. Maybe this is something you can acquire. Um, and, and I think that's how it happened. And then after, after that, uh, after Finish Friday and 90 days of doing daily videos, it kind of gave me the courage to pick up Philophobia after so long. 
because uh, it, 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 I had worked on it years ago, but it was just sitting there. I hadn't really touched it. I opened it every once in a while, but it wasn't a project that I like actively worked on for a long time. And that's when I dedicated to it. And I've been working on that ever since. And I've been doing a daily video ever since. And on top of that, I've been doing a stream every Friday. Uh, we don't do the Finish Friday stuff anymore, but I do a stream every Friday. Um, we did Ludum Dare. <laughs> we did a stream for the whole Ludum Dare. And I played 110 viewers games in uh, 20 hours of footage over the next weekend. And now I'm starting to stream... Uh, stream a lot more often specifically on twitch just the the game dev stuff i'm doing so while posting videos all day like i'm seven and a half months into daily videos every single day it's like 206 days this will be 206th day that i have posted a video every single day um and this is coming from a guy that did not think he was disciplined 206 days ago there's no way this was possible there's no way um shit and six years ago there's no way this was possible so if you're sitting there and you're thinking hey you don't have discipline neither do i this is something that i baby stepped into over five years of doing this five years five years and this wasn't just something i dived into this wasn't just i'm not some magical person that just has something that you don't i'm a dude that literally had to baby step up and up and up and up and up until I got to this point. And I'm still not at the point I want. I still struggle to work on my game every day. I still struggle um, to do stuff. It's not always easy, but it's necessary because I want to go somewhere. And I got to say, um, if I'm just going to give you a quick tip for discipline. Like having you guys here has definitely helped me be disciplined it definitely has because knowing that you guys are out there and they, you expect the daily content knowing that i'm helping you guys knowing that um you know it, i'm producing something that kind of changes lives here and you know even if it's just like you know giving you a quick tip to help you through your day or helping you with your game or whatever it is um it has motivated me to stay disciplined this whole time and uh so if you're if you know if you're having trouble with discipline, get out in public, man. Try streaming game dev. Like I, that's one of the reasons why I've been kind of streaming Phobia a little bit just on Twitch, just because I stay focused. I stay focused when I'm live on stream. I don't care if there's one or two viewers there. Like it keeps me focused, man. So if I could stay focused working on my game, and I could do I have the discipline to start that stream every day. You know what? It's going to carry me through to the finish line. So I want to share that with you guys because I felt like a lot of, like I see this a lot in the Discord too, like a lot of people just don't believe that they have the discipline. And I don't know how to emphasize that I feel the same way. <laughs> um, like I am by no means any, you know, above the average. I'm just... A dude that has like taken baby steps into this and trying to do stuff every day and I feel like the more that I do the more I can do uh, my capacity kind of grows with my uh, workload or my dedication so hope you found that helpful if you did please leave me a like and a comment and uh, feel free to share this video um, if you want to watch me do game dev live follow me on twitch the link is in the description um, if you have any questions on this, leave them down below. If you got any comments on maybe how you gain dedication, you can help other people or me. I need help too. Uh, leave them down in the comments below. But once again, I'm Tim Russwick, and I will see you again tomorrow.